Hello, that's here with the Armageddon Report. Let's jump right in, shall we? So, Ernesto, the big news, formerly a hurricane, now a tropical storm. NHC's forecast still, originally they were showing a re-strengthening of Ernesto out in this area. And now, of course, they could still modify that forecast and put that back in there. But right now, they're only showing it staying as tropical storm status. If we go over here, you can read about the land hazards, wind, rainfall, and storm surge. And if you click on this thing, Espanol, you can read this experimental page where it's got stuff that's half in Spanish, half in English, and that's because no habla espanol. So that's why there's, if I found a translation for it, it's in, you know, Spanish. Otherwise, it's still in English. And also, you'll notice, Ernesto, currently a tropical storm, but according to everything that's on the espanol pages, everything is a hurricane. So, trayectoria del hurricane Ernesto. So you can see also land hazards, also known as peligros, afectando tierra. Viento, lluvia, marjada, ciclonica. So that would be wind, rain, and I believe literally surge cyclone, which translates to storm surge. So there you go. Oh, also, if you click on Aviso Publica, you get to actually read something by someone who probably speaks Spanish at the NHC. They do this for the Atlantic Basin storms, where they actually put out stuff completely in Spanish. So you can read about that, like, cambios con esta avatancia. Ninguno. I don't know what any of that means, but yeah. Hopefully it's helpful if you do happen to speak Spanish better than you speak English. Obviously, I speak English. Well, I don't speak English very well. But I definitely speak English better than I speak Spanish. Anyway, moving on. There's also Tropical Storm Gilmer forecasted to become a hurricane shortly. However, Gilmer, nowhere near the landmass at the moment. Back here, we've got a 40% chance of new tropical cyclone formation. We've got the remnants of Florence over here in the Atlantic with just a 0%. And then we've got this new storm, 30%. Now, this is actually about where Ernesto started up. So that could be a new thing. And even the spaghetti models right now are showing potentially, you know, this, a similar path cutting through there. But obviously, too soon to tell. And speaking of spaghetti models, I have to bring this up. Over in the Western Pacific right now, no spaghetti models data. The server that Cyclocane was using to get spaghetti, spaghetti models data is down. I don't know who owns it, so I can't contact them and say, hey man, what's going on? When is it going to be back up? So if you happen to know of a server with spaghetti models data with Western Pacific data, hey, give me a holler or something. I don't know. But otherwise, spaghetti models data for the Western Pacific is down. Central Pacific, Eastern Pacific, Atlantic are not... Yeah, Atlantic are not affected by it because they're off a different server. But anyway, so, right, Haikui is on the final advisor, so they'll be disappearing off the site shortly, affecting lots of China with the rains, maybe landfall near Shanghai. And then we've got this one, Kurogi, not currently... There's probably not going to be too... It should be encountering colder sea surface temperatures up here, so it probably will not keep going, though that would be amusing, right, if it did. Amusing is not the right word, though. And then this thing, which was formerly in the Central Pacific Basin, has crossed the international dateline, is now being, is low, low chance of tropical cyclone formation. See, when it crosses the international base, international baseline, international dateline, at least right here, it goes from being Honolulu, Hawaii, is the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, to once it crosses the international dateline, the, the JTWC is in charge of it or whatnot. Anyway, also, just if you happen to notice that things disappear as I pan across the international dateline, that is a map bug that I have no control over because I am not a programmer. It's supposed to be fixed in one of these versions, one of these updates. It's going to get fixed. I keep reading that. So, over here, we've got the excessive heat warnings, excessive heat watches. We've got red flag warnings, which is when fires get set, they can spread quite quickly. It's obviously something to pay attention to. And we've got all of this fun gray stuff is air quality alerts. Severe thunderstorm news today. We actually, I think it was a 5% yesterday, so it has increased somewhat. We've got a 15% chance of winds and hail. Let's take a look if the mesoscale discussion is in effect still. It probably won't be. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got a mesoscale discussion. Weather watch may be needed this afternoon across eastern Nebraska, western, southwestern Iowa, northeastern Kansas, and northwestern Missouri. Got a watch possible on that. It goes from, what is it, watch unlikely, watch possible, watch likely. So it's only a 60%. So that's still over 50%. That could be something. Right, so 
Specifically, here is the wind map today. So this would be the chance of 58 mile power and greater wind. So several different areas with the 5%. However, here's where your slight risk area is. Hail would be one inch larger, so also another 5% area for that one. And then tornadoes, not on the books today, or at least not as of right now. Tomorrow, up to 30%. Look at all those areas affected. Here is the specific probability map. So here's where the core of the threat, at least as of this outlook, is showing up. And then you've got almost the entire East Coast type thing affected by at least the 5% tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, we've got a 15% on the East East Coast. I don't think they call it that though. So here's your slight risk area and then a 5% affecting again quite a few states. And then one back there with Montana. Day after day after day after tomorrow, whatever day four would be, the medium range. Predictability to, predictability to look. I got those words out today. Anyway, if you were to read this, it would talk about where things might occur. But right now, the models, there's not timing, timing and their locations. Not yet certain enough for the Storm Prediction Center to put something on the map. Right. To be aware, the TV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. It gets updated roughly every two days, even though the screencast gets put out once a day. And then WikiWix is over here, W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. You can also get your severe thunderstorm news from weather.gov, Storm Prediction Center. Cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. Let's go back over here to Ernesto. Right, and you can also go to National Hurricane Center, Joint Typhoon Warning Center, the MIR, if you're international, Japan Meteorological Agency, and then, obviously, if you're affected by Ernesto, you're probably getting your data from, I think they call it, it's whatever it is, it's like the Spanish equivalent, it's like the US, they call it the National Weather Service. And it was the same exact thing in Spanish, but, you know, the same exact, what's that word? Literal translation, I do believe. They also called theirs the National Weather Service, but obviously it was in Spanish. Anyway, so yeah, that's where you should be getting your data if you're over there and use the nhc type stuff as a supplement anyway that is it for today hopefully you aren't affected by stuff or if you want to be affected by stuff hopefully you are affected by stuff i don't know anyway enjoy your day have fun